Just about to get started. All right, well, I guess we'll go for it. Well, the main thing on my mind is the Rook 1.0 release targeted for this week. Um, just wrapping up the last few items here. We're getting close. The yeah, a few PRs I I linked from the agenda there. The first one is we still need to set the default to Nautilus in our Rook examples. We'll it's just a simple change. Um, yeah, just in our YAML files to to set Nautilus as what we're deploying. And it's set to 1.0 because or 14.2.0 because dot one's not out yet. Correct. We'll change it to dot one as soon as it's out. Uh, the next thing is there's an upgrade guide that's still under review that Blaine put together. So if others are, you know, want to take a read through that, I think it'd be good to get more eyes on it. No, in particular, maybe if you want to take a look at it, that'd be helpful. It's pretty much the same as what the upgrade guide we had for 0.9. It's a little simpler now, even the previous release we had a few more manual steps, but I think we're just each release is getting better as far as upgrade goes. And then another issue related to upgrade. So there's still an open issue around Nautilus upgrades or basically upgrading from Mimic to Nautilus because of enabling Messenger 2. So there, Sebastian Hahn does have a PR in progress for that issue not quite there yet, so that's one of the last big issues to resolve. Please, and he's yeah he's out today, so we'll, hopefully tomorrow we'll get that solved. And then the and I don't have Jeff Leighton on the call, do we? I just had a question for him around upgrading for NFS demons. Uh, that last item in the list is around when we do a, a a Ceph upgrade without restarting the Rook operator, we weren't upgrading the all of the demons. Basically the demons that were controlled by other CRDs like RGW, NFS, FFS, they weren't getting updated, but with that PR3023 now they are getting upgraded. You have to review that to make a couple other changes for NFS. And otherwise, I think we're in good shape for, for 1.0 this week. And any questions about 1.0 left? I think so. OK. Maybe a quick today. That's all I had on the agenda. Uh, other things that people want to bring up related to orchestration. I had a all right. quick question for Noah. Um, I, I tried out the SSH orchestrator last Yeah. Week, I guess it was, and hit that issue. <laughs> I'm wondering, is that something you've seen? Am I maybe hitting like a weird Python 3 thing with Remoto or something, or the one the the one you sent me in the email. Yeah, yeah. It looked it was really mysterious to me. And there's another tracker bug for SSH orchestrator. Um, I just have been swamped with Rook. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I mean, right. I guess like. Uh, Neat, well, so the short the long, the short answer is I looked at both of them and neither of them seemed like it was, there was an obvious thing going on. Um, so, uh, but I I should look at those. I just don't know how to exactly prioritize all this stuff. But if 1.0 is coming out this week, maybe we're not as swamped. I guess I don't know. I I personally cleared all my plate last week. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. 
Well, so I guess there are two things on this stage. One is that that issue. Um, be nice. That was what was blocking me from playing around with it. Um, but the other thing is that there's a um, there's a blog draft. Dot com mm -hmm. on the orchestrator stuff. Uh, this goes for you on me actually too um, about the orchestrators, but there's not really any detail about any of them except for the rook one. Um, so it'd be great if we could edit that. I think to just have like a a little bit more information about this is how it works and or this is how you actually. Use it. Um, I don't know if Noah, do you have access to the WordPress? If it's um... If it hasn't changed in several years, then I still do. So I, I just not sure. Well, that's um, I put the URL in there. I'm um, all let me uh, go add your user for me. You definitely don't yet. Taking notes on this. Is there any issue or PR to link as far as what what you're running into for the SSH orchestrator? There's a tracker ticket, and then Sage sent me a trace in the email, but I didn't turn that one into a tracker ticket yet. Do you want to add that to the notes? You have them up. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's good. I just sent you an email on the, this is the, um, That's it. Thanks. I'll take a look at that again. Um, we're using it on um, Tuthology on the on the Cepia cluster. I was trying to turn it on on my home cluster, um, but that it also wants to turn on the lab cluster. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Better to test on my home one than the. All right. <laughs> but eventually, yes. Cool. All right. Great. Anything else to discuss then? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Have a good day. So, I had quickly right. is there a oh. sort of timeline you want to shoot for for this post? It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, we have some other ones in the pipeline, but in the next well, week or two. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thanks. See you guys. Okay. Thanks. See you.